first thing I want to say about temperature and humidity set points is that every grower wants something slightly different. Um, based on their climate, based on their experience, based on uh, the strains of the plant that they have, and just what's been successful and not successful for them in the past. What I can tell you from studies and from research is that cannabis, at least during veg, kind of likes elevated temperatures. It kind of likes to be right around 80 degrees. If you feel comfortable with a room temperature of 78 to 80 degrees, that is ideal. That's going to give you the most rapid growth. It's going to um, produce the most foliage. Um, but after 80 degrees, you know, the, 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 the rate of growth degrades really quickly. So it's really tricky because you want to hold it at 80 degrees for maximum yield and maximum growth. But what happens if your HVAC system fails or if it overshoots and lets it rise to 81 or 82 degrees, there's a lot of risk involved there. But again, I can give you an HVAC system, I can design that system so that we're not overshooting, so that we have more precise control. So I would say 80 degrees is the best target for veg. Um, in combination with a relative humidity of around 50%. Believe it or not, I know a lot of you guys really want really low humidities, like around 40%, but in veg, you can be up at 50% and 80 degrees, and your plant is going to breathe fine, it's not gonna grow mold, and as long as you have a lot of air exchange and movement over the plants, that would be ideal. But again, we need to make sure that we're not overshooting or undershooting the humidity so it gets too dry or too humid. For bloom, it's a little different. You might want a slightly um, lower temperature and maybe a slightly lower relative humidity. So now maybe you're around 40% humidity, 40, 45%, and 75 degrees uh, temperature. Um, you know, just because you don't want the flower to bloom too quickly, and you also, again, are really trying to protect the flower from, from any sort of pests or molds that might grow on it. Because I think for most of you, you want to avoid the use of pesticide altogether. And, and I believe that's why a lot of you are asking for low relative humidity, even though your plant would be just as happy growing at 50 to 60% relative humidity but to prevent that use of pesticide, to really keep those molds and fungi at bay, a low humidity will help with that. However, I do want to say that if your humidity is too low, the pump, your, your plant, your plant's internal pump will actually start to shut down because now it wants to protect itself. It wants to conserve water. If you think about a desert plant, um, you know, desert plants have really spindly leaves, which are called needles, and they actually shut down during the day because it's too hot and it's too dry, and so they won't actually release any water during the day because they're trying to conserve that water. It's at night that the stomata open in the plant leaf, in a desert plant. So, you know, we have to really balance exactly what humidity and what temperature we want so that um, your plant doesn't shut down either because it's too humid or it's too dry.